don't skip yet you're probably wondering why am i starting a video sharing something that happened in may it's not a date mistake i have something to share something that i've been keeping for a while it's something that happened in may this year it's something that completely changed my life for the better and i cannot wait to share it with you but first of all i want to give you a bit of a background a bit of a background story so here we are driving through the alps through austria and very soon through italy to reach our destination for the weekend back then we were driving to lago di garda or gardase which is one of the most popular destinations among germans the lake is pretty easy to reach from munich you are only driving for four hours and you're already in what is considered the south of europe you are already in italy the road until there is absolutely spectacular. You're driving through the mountains, through the valleys. Nature was just reviving back then. Everything was so green, everything was spectacular. But at the same time, you could still see the snow on the top of the mountains, which made it a one of a kind images. And here we are reaching Italy and more specifically the region of Sutterol, which if you didn't know, it's not exactly Italy because it belonged to Austria. So I would say it's a region that kind of belongs to both countries and definitely the people are different than the real Italians. The plan was to spend approximately four days here, three days around Lago di Garda and one day in Venice because of the mix of the two cultures that I just mentioned before. It's well known for the wine produced here, it's well known for the agriculture, it's well known for the mountains, for the national parks like Dolomites. It's really a region that takes your breath away. Hello from day two, we are already heading to Venice. It was very cloudy in our region. And Italy back then was confronting itself with a lot of floods in the center of the country so we decided to escape to Venice that day and we hoped for a better weather which happened and this is the first views of the city that I saw. I was in love. The moment you step your foot in Venice it's everything touristy and everything that you cannot expect it's really one of the most beautiful cities in the world it's so insane to me that people actually built houses an entire city streets everything on water and what made the visit even more beautiful even more impressive was thinking that the city for centuries it was one of the most important ports one of the most important cities in the mediterranean the city was a very important point strategically, also when it came to trade, when it came to culture, to music, everything. And it still blows my mind that the city, up to this day in the present, holds this name for itself. It was also around this time when the special event happened, which is guys that we got engaged my boyfriend proposed while we were in venice i think approximately five minutes after i filmed this moment i wouldn't say it was a total total surprise because we talked about it i knew it was going to happen i just didn't know when exactly but i'm so happy that he chose this magical place for sure venice will forever be in my heart as one of the most special places well, it's been a crazy ride the last three years and those of you who have watched my YouTube channel in the past three years, you know how struggling and so life-changing the move to Germany it was. And he was one of the reasons why I did it. He was one of my engines, so to say. I just knew from the first moments and days that I met him that this relationship was special, that this relationship was something else. It was the first time when I was around someone and I had absolutely no doubt. No doubt of how this person is, no doubt of how, what this person is saying, no doubt of what this person is going to do. It was so transparent from the beginning, it was so easy, it felt so easy, it felt just good. Now, 
back to this vlog, if I'm to also give a few impressions about Venice and how we felt it, we only spent one day, but I would say it's only enough if you want to scratch a little bit the surface. I would definitely recommend you a guided tour. I'm sure the history of this place is absolutely mind-blowing. The city is not really livable anymore. It's more like an open-air museum. I would say a little bit over the average pricey, but nonetheless, it deserves a visit. And I would say it lives up to the hype. Good morning, good morning from us. I haven't really talked and vlogged in forever because we really just took the time to enjoy the time here. We are now in Riva del Garza and it's a little bit rainy and cloudy. It was like this the last days. But we are determined to enjoy the day. We are heading now for a coffee bar to have our first coffee. I will show you a little bit around the city because it's super cute. like a small introduction about the city. Riva is the biggest city and more like the main capital of this lake, so to say. It's not actually that big of a city, but it has everything. It has super cute shops, it has super cute cafes, restaurants, and there is a lot of space, so everything is kind of airy, so you will see a lot of people just doing sport and enjoying nature here. It's very famous for windsurfing especially. I think the city and region adopted a lot to the German culture, the Austrian culture, which is very outdoorsy, which is very nature oriented. But for me, my favorite part of any vacation will still be the mornings, early mornings, going to find a coffee shop with some nice pastries and just watching people around. the best part about Riva del Garda is that it has a lot of green, it has a lot of parks and one of the most famous areas is just around the lake. It was transformed in a public park with a public beach so everybody is just working out, everybody is enjoying the good weather on a good weather day, not like here. Because the lake is actually situated between the mountains that makes it a perfect place for the winds to blow and usually in the morning and afternoon the wind blows crazily which makes it a perfect spot for windsurfing by the way let's not forget to get a bit of ice cream from the fiance <laughs> Later that evening we celebrated our engagement with a course meal at one of the oldest restaurants in Riva del Garda. We had a nice selection of local wines, we had some appetizers from fish and fresh veggies and we had seasoned food with truffle because it was truffle season. The atmosphere was gorgeous, it is a family owned restaurant business and I can only highly recommend it. And welcome to our last stop in this trip, which is the city of Limone Sagada, which is also famous as the name says for the lemons, for the lemon products. It was honestly the last day and it was the perfect day. It was finally sunny, it was finally gorgeous weather and it was one of my favorite places that I visited around Cartagena. Some interesting facts about the city is that it was actually not connected with other cities or villages around the lake up until the last century. 
it was only reachable by boat then they began to build the roads to connect it finally to other cities and so they made it accessible and tourism exploded in the area as you can see from the video the city is built on the mountains so expect a good workout if you come here to visit and always wear comfy shoes although i haven't been there yet i feel that it's very similar to the amalfi coast from the way that it's built from the houses from the lemon products that you can find everywhere and by the way if you're here make sure you visit the open air museum where they grow lemons you can find more about the history of how they started to cultivate lemons in the area you can see different assortments and i will tell you a secret you can find the best views of the city and of the gulf from up there totally worth it mm -hmm.